Hey there, my friends. What is going on, everybody? Vitaly Dubin is here, founder of Bitcoin's Wealth Club, where we are helping people increase their wealth in Bitcoin and generate profits and income in crypto in a variety of ways. And today is Monday. Welcome to another episode of Today in Crypto Show. And Bitcoin is rising week after week after week, and everybody is in full anticipation of the upcoming halving the bitcoin halving event that happens only once every four years that is going to happen and hit the cryptocurrency market in just two weeks time so i want to discuss that and what we are seeing right now in the bitcoin charts we have quite some uh, news for bitcoin and we have quite some predictions over the long term of what's going to happen for bitcoin and over the shorter term we are deep right now into financial crisis we are seeing bank of japan who is uh, pretty much right now printing unlimited amount of money following the US. I want to discuss all of that and more in today's show. So let's take a look at the cryptocurrency markets right now. Bitcoin is trading at $7,720 right now, which is 1.22% higher than the last 24 hours. The cryptocurrency market stand right now at 200 21 billion dollars and it's still very very little compared to where we are going to be in the next two three five years a, a trillion dollar market cap so we're seeing bitcoin rising week after week after the march 12th uh, fall from here uh, to the three thousand nine hundred dollar level we since came back and right now trading at seven thousand seven hundred thirty dollars and rising week after week we do have this very very important 21 weeks moving averages which has been a very very important um exponential moving average here and all the way through the bull market of 2017 you can see how we stayed above the 21 weeks then came to the bear market and then we stayed all the way below the 21 moving week averages than last year when we were bullish trading above so this was a very very important line and right now we are touching that resistance uh for the 21 week moving averages so there are some arguments right now for the bulls and for the bears and i want to discuss that uh right now so looking at the daily okay we are having some uh, very little dodges over here uh on the daily so the more there is not big moves right now in the price of bitcoin as you know it is a it is the quiet before the storm so we do anticipate a big move coming uh, for the price of uh, bitcoin we are trading right now is what seems to be a rising wedge um this is the lower uh, higher lows and higher lows here and also lower highs here and you can see that this pattern right here can break to the upside as well as to the downside we're seeing lower volumes um in the trading activity and uh, overall the pattern if it breaks down to the upside uh we anticipated hit at least eight thousand five hundred dollars if not all the way to nine thousand dollars for the price of bitcoin also we need to consider that the bitcoin futures uh is very important um that we create that there is a gap right here uh, at the 8,500 to 9,000 dollar level, so we might see this gap fill, and uh, you know people are discussing right now whether it's a bull trap and we are going to dump right after, uh, or we're going to continue higher. Which it's very very likely that uh, the scenario that we are going to trade uh, among th among this channel, okay, moving upwards and trade all the way to 9,000 dollars and then drop pretty hard from from there okay and all the all of that can happen before the halving now we're talking about two weeks from now we have the big uh bitcoin halving event and uh, that will definitely make a big big impact on the cryptocurrency market not just the bitcoin itself because bitcoin mm -hmm. is a leader when it comes to uh when it comes to that okay so um if we take a look at the four hours and uh, look a little bit closer here we do see a divergence in the rsi so while the prices are rising the rsi is naturally not increasing on the four hours that's 
uh, uh, that's actually a sign of a trend reversal. There's also something to consider. Is historical CME pattern suggests that Bitcoin rally to 7.7 thousand is likely to brutally reverse from here because what happens is the BTC bit, uh, future on contracts on exchanges expires on the 25 and 25th. And prior to that expiration, the Bitcoin price tends to see large price movement as traders make one last push towards either directions to benefit their contracts. And we have been seeing this move on the 23rd of April. You can see this move from $7,000 to all the way $7,700. So that's exactly it correlates to that. And after the expiration occurs, the Bitcoin price typically sees a price movement to the opposite direction from the run up of the expiration. If Bitcoin surges ahead of it, the cryptocurrency is more likely to drop. The upsurge of Bitcoin from around $7,000 to $7,770 come right before the expiration of CME's April BTC future contract. Based on historical data, it leaves Bitcoin vulnerable to a potential trend reverse. So what do you guys think about that? Uh, we need to uh, take that into consideration um, about this pattern, but also uh, it may not be true. You know, we are, might go all the way to $8,500 or, or, you know, even touching $9,000 here, and it can be just another bull flag. Um, you know, however, we do need to see that divergence is here and we are still right now touching the 21 weeks uh, uh, moving averages right here. And this can this can be, um, you know, this this line of resistance. If we are going to break above that, if we're going to decisively break above that. Um, right now, we're kind of like the dodgy here on a weekly then we might say, okay, we are moving into the bull territory until we are not there yet, until we are below the 21 weeks moving averages, we are still in the bear uh, territory. Now, with all of that green actions, uh, pretty much for the last seven weeks for Bitcoin, we still see that the, uh, uh, the crypto uh, fear and greed index is pointing to uh, extreme fear, right? It's 28. So why? <laughs> why is it so? We've been rising week after week after week for seven weeks and we are still uh, in that fear mode um, with, with all what that is going on with coronavirus and the, and the world. Now, looking at uh, the bigger predictions for Bitcoin and its prices uh, over the longer term, a Raul Paul anticipating $1 million Bitcoin price in just three years and calls Bitcoin the biggest trade of our lifetime. And he's a former Goldman Sachs hedge fund manager. And essentially, he expects baby boomers to sell every rally they can to protect their last rapidly diminishing nest egg. After that, he predicts boomers will stop spending, triggering slower growth and contributing to the mounting debt crisis. According to Paul, the only answers to the impending calamity are gold and Bitcoin. And he sees a realistic, it's realistically to expect Bitcoin that could rise to a $10 trillion market cap. Would it be crazy for Bitcoin to have a $10 trillion valuation? After all, it isn't just a currency or even a store of value. It's an entire trusted, verified, secure financial and accounting system of digital value that can never be created outside of the cryptographic algorithm. It's nothing short of the future of our entire medium of exchange system and of money and the platform on which it operates. And I think this is the biggest trade of our lifetime. Okay, so looking at what can trigger that, first of all, we have the upcoming Bitcoin halving event in just two weeks from now. This is where the supply of Bitcoin is getting uh, twice as low as it is right now. It goes from 12 and a half Bitcoin for each block sold for the miners to 6.25, twice as less supply coming into the market while the demand is increasing. So looking at that, we have um, the amount of searches on Google is is way, way more by a third more than back in 2016 when the previous halving event uh, took place. So we do see Google searches for Bitcoin halving are going parabolic. You know, people are looking for that. Also, the BTC active supply two to three years hit new major high of two um, 
2,805,977 Bitcoin. People are withdrawing Bitcoin from the exchanges. They're buying Bitcoin. They're storing the Bitcoin uh, in their wallet. And, uh, you know, looking at the, at the amount of searches that we see for the Bitcoin halving event, it does look like people are uh, buying and buying Bitcoin in preparation of the event. Now, Bitcoin is serving as the ultimate protector for what our central banking systems and the monetary policy system is doing to the world. Bank of Japan now follows suit uh, the US, the Federal Reserve, and prepares for unlimited quantitative easing, which means they're going to be printing a lot of money in unlimited ways. The Bank of Japan has removed limits on buying government bonds, and this allowed for potentially unlimited quantitative easing. So essentially, they are going ahead and uh, they're not going to uh, keep up with the target of a 2% inflation target. <laughs> that's, that's just not going to happen. And uh, you need to understand with such an amount of money that is being printed and the, the helicopter money, what US is doing with the stimulus money, with the trillions of dollars, uh, that could set up the currency for inflation and possibly hyperinflation. The balance sheet of the um, Federal Reserve had a balloon to over six uh, trillion dollars. So um, <laughs> that's just crazy. And that's why you should be in Bitcoin and you should understand to protect from that quantitative easing. What Bitcoin halving is doing is actually a quantitative hardening. It's hard. It's, it's, it's more hard money, right? No matter what the price is, you cannot produce more Bitcoin. That's essential for you to understand and educate people. No matter what the price of Bitcoin is, you cannot produce more Bitcoin. It's in the math. It's in the code. Now, looking at some more crazy price predictions for Bitcoin, we have um, this <laughs> absolutely the most insane Bitcoin prediction of all times uh, by uh, this guy, uh, Ulbricht, who is uh, sitting in a lifetime jail after his notorious uh, Silk Road dark, uh, dark market, Ross Ulbricht. And he essentially says that we are, uh, you know, finishing that bear market correction and uh, Bitcoin price could be take down anywhere between $2,800 and $1,200. That's very, very bearish uh, outlook. And he says that after that, you know, if you consider six cents to be the start of the way one, uh, according to the his view of the um, Elliott wave theory and the $20,000 the end, then uh, wave one drove prices by 333,333x. If wave two takes prices down to $1,000 and wave three is as big as wave one, then wave three will drive prices to $333 million. Now, he believes that decades from now, anything below $20,000 will seem cheap. So that definitely beats the John McAfee prediction of $1 million for the Bitcoin price, right? It pales into comparison, okay? Um, so looking also, I wanted to point out when uh, oil has dropped in the, into the negative, you know, um, it is essentially uh, something that cannot happen to Bitcoin. Bitcoin can never go to negative, but um, the, the, this whole commodities, you know, and thinking that uh, commodity prices don't have a floor and who knew that we we're going to go negative, right? Uh, like it happened with natural gas prices. So according to the Commodities uh, Futures Trading Commissions and other regular regulators, Bitcoin is a commodity. Technically, it falls into the c category of financial commodities, which include currencies and indices. They do have a floor, right? They can go to zero, but not below. Once at the minimum, they have neither a use nor a carry cost, so investors can write off their value and some uh, uh, nationality. Yeah, so essentially, just wanted to point it out right now. Uh, don't fall for this scam uh, that on that is on YouTube. Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg interview, and when you go and click on the Bitcoin news on YouTube, you do have this live from. Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg uh, saying Mark Zuckerberg 15,000 Bitcoin to give away. 
this is a scam okay and uh, they want you to go and believe uh, that this is true that uh, he's doing this giveaway which is absolutely not true uh, and they ask you to send uh, 0.1 Bitcoin to 25 Bitcoin to this address and they show you apparently that if you send the amount you'll, you'll get instantly 10 times more this is complete complete scam and you can see there is absolutely no movement of this Bitcoin uh, address of a giveaway there's just two transactions so please please do not fall for the scam and um, I want to finish with this we do have a, a, a special live webinar coming in tomorrow on the 28th of April at 12 p.m. Eastern time I'm going to be sharing with you uh, about this very cool decentralized uh, smart contract based on the Ethereum platform that essentially uh, you can earn Ethereum directly to your Ethereum wallet with this very, very cool uh, system. I'm going to be showing you exactly the strategy that I'm using, the tools that I'm using, um, and how I was able to generate 727 Ethereum and gross income in just 34 days uh, with the system. So please join us live on 12 p.m. Eastern time at livehangout.earnethdailysystem.com it's livehangout.earnethdailysystem.com all right so um that's it for today's special uh, uh, uh today in crypto show uh let's see how the next week is going to turn for bitcoin are we going to continue our weekly um a bullish scenario and bitcoin going to nine thousand dollars or is it time right now that is going to crash a little bit um the future will tell and uh, for me i think that uh, it, it can come down a little bit and then go to the eight and a half thousand nine thousand dollars and then crash from there and after that it will take it to new all time highs okay it's been vitaly dubin with today in crypto show hope you have a fantastic day and i'll see you in the next episodes